I'm Dr. Aaron Kaufman. I practice integrative family medicine in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm board certified in family medicine. Uh, I've been in practice 33 years and have been using ASEA in my practice for a little over five years. I've been asked uh, what I should tell my doctor if I want to begin using ASEA for myself. Um, my first thought is you probably don't need to. This is considered a supplement by the FDA because there's not a category for cell signaling supplements. In other words, this is a whole new category. The um, next thought is that your physician likely will not have heard about this unless they did their training well after 2000 and are research oriented because the term didn't even come into existence. The research didn't come into existence that showed what these redox signaling molecules are until 1998. Uh, prior to that, when I was in training uh, and studied biochemistry, these were just considered waste products of the Krebs cycle, the energy production cycle inside our mitochondria. And again, in 98, uh, research began that showed that these are the most bioactive molecules in our body. Interestingly enough, and you can tell your physician this if they're interested, there is zero toxicity with these molecules. Studies were done to try to uh, demonstrate what level uh, toxicity occurred, and they could not achieve that. So these are absolutely safe, despite being so dramatically bioactive. Uh, there are no drug interactions, herb supplement interactions. Uh, these are bioidentical molecules, and all they do is turn on cellular activity, youth in cells, if you will. Uh, uh, certainly another consideration for people that are on sodium-restricted diets, and your physician will need to know this, is that the amount of sodium chloride in uh, a daily dose of a CF of four ounces is equivalent to what's in a medium-sized carrot, 23 milligrams of salt. Uh, just for reference, very salt-restricted diets uh, that uh, patients who have kidney and heart conditions are often on is a 2,000 milligram uh, sodium restriction diet. So this is not significant as far as that's concerned. Um, the only other thing that might be an important consideration for you as the patient and perhaps to relate to your physician that is when people are using these redox signaling molecules in ASEA, it's common that things improve, including the numbers in certain conditions where people are taking medication to lower those numbers. So it's important if, you're, if you do have such a condition that you do monitor those numbers, and it's quite likely that you'll need to reduce those medication as, medications as time goes on or even discontinue them.